Hey guys, welcome to another floss tube video for the week. I'm gonna warn you, if I'm in here talking, my bird is noisy. You're gonna hear him, so I'm sorry. But anyway, before I show you stitching, I thought I would dive in and show you my stitchy spot. So let me turn the camera around so I can show you all of it. Okay, so this is my living room and this is the back corner of my living room. I put myself over here on purpose. It's a little messy because I got this ready to do video with and it's not usually here. So please forgive that mess because it's not normally here. But here's my stitchy spot. Um, I like it because during the day I'm at a window so I have natural lighting. And then at night, everything light related is here so that it doesn't interfere with watching TV. And I'll show you where my TV is in relation to my stitchy spot here in a minute. But my husband sits over here. And so the TV is up in this corner. So he doesn't have to look past me to see the TV. I told you you'd hear my bird. So the light doesn't get in the way. All right, so let me show you how it works. On the arm here, I usually keep my stitching calendar and either my iPad or my phone. Sometimes they watch stuff on TV that I don't want to watch. So I have all of that here. There is normally three to five dogs on me when I'm stitching <laughs> at any point. So he knows I'm coming to my stitchy chair. Okay, so my light I got from Amazon. It has got a remote control and it's got different settings. I can change colors. I can change brightness. I love this lamp. It was, I think, $30. And it's got, like I said, a remote. So I can turn it off from across the room, whatever. This is my Otlight magnifier. It's covered up so that the sun doesn't come in and cook anything. But you get the point. Let me turn this back on so y'all can see. Okay, then this is my Lowry stand. I have got the extra long arm on it. And when I pull over my stitching, this is my winter progress, by the way. <laughs> um, I keep extra needle minder here to hold my extra needles. Um, usually my pattern is clamped up here over this part so that I can see for where I'm working. On this lanyard, I lose my tools all the time. And if I sit them in my lap when I'm working, I poke myself or I poke the couch or the dogs carry them off or whatever. So they just stay on this lanyard so that whenever I use it, I can just throw it back over to the side. There's nothing down here that it can hurt. So it works out really well. And then, let me move Fido over so I can get my stitchy spot. So when I'm stitching, let me kick out my feet. I can kick out my feet. Pull my stitching over and you're right at eye level right now and then right there is my TV so when I'm watching TV at night I can stitch my neck is straight um, I get really bad headaches migraines and vision problems if I've been in my head for too long so all of my stitching is right here with my at eye level and then I can just glance and see the TV and glance back and glance up and glance back so I absolutely love my system and then this scoots over closer to me and I can bend it down and be able to see what I'm doing here but and then see when I want to get up I just swing it out of the way the doggies can't get to it nobody can get to it so it's out of the way all right then here on my stitching chart let me move all this our stitching cart this is those things you can either get at Michael's or Ikea. This is the bigger one, so I think it's an Ikea one. Um, but this little stand right here come from Ikea, and it's metal. Let's see if I can get it up to show you. Okay. So this is where I keep my drink, my trash, and my snacks. Because it doesn't have holes, and it would puddle in the bottom if I spilled it. So it keeps all of my other stuff safe. From what I'm doing then I also have this is just my pattern keeper some patterns I need to put back away extra floss that I need to get on floss drops but I'm using a tear tray and then back here is all of my orts this is a little container it's got needles 
permanent markers, my hole punch, highlighter. This is just a little bag of doodads. It's got like my ruler in it, my um, glue to put on the edges so that it don't fray or whatever. Then this is my bobbins that I use for my floss drops. And this is just a thing of trash where I put all those when I wind it. And then this just holds oh, hot mess. my remote for my light that I talked about. So all of this stuff, I can be sitting here stitch, stitch, stitching. There's another dog showed up. I can reach my floss. I can reach everything on my tear tray. So I've showed this before, but this is how I store my floss. And when I have all these poochies on me, if I leave floss laying, they're bad to want to scratch on it or chew it or whatever. So I keep it right here for the project that I'm working on. So let's say I'm sitting here stitching and I finish up with the thread that I'm using and I want to tie it off. Just loosen my stand and flip it over, tie it off, pull my scissors up here, cut it off lower that back down put my ort right here and then here is my floss I can pull another piece of floss and start stitching so it's all right here all in while I'm watching TV I love it and then this usually holds my pattern right here so that I can see for over here where I'm stitching but of course I didn't want to show my pattern and break copyright law <laughs> okay and the best part is if I need to get up for something I just swing it over out of the way the puppies can't get to it I still know where everything is and up I go all right puppies go go puppies oh, it's a it is a thing y'all puppies want to cuddle okay so over here on this we'll start at the bottom this is all of the patterns that I have got loaded into my digital system um, I use page protectors and I write the title of the pattern on there. I have another video that shows how I organize these and how I organize my floss. And I have another video that shows the digital system I keep everything in. So I can see every single pattern that's in here at a glance, either on my desktop or my phone or my tablet without opening this. So I love it. This is extra fabric down here, more extra fabric. These are all of the whips that I'm focused on in 2022. This is not all the whips that I have. They are stored in an ottoman put up, but I will not forget about them because in that digital system, I can see they're on my list. I can see where I'm at all that good stuff without having to physically have them out here. But these are the ones I want to be able to get to at a glance. Um, I've got hooks for extra hoops and cue snaps and whatnot. Then up here, this is a basket of stuff that I need to put away or new stuff that I have not yet got in my digital system. Cue snaps, magazines, extra fabric, extra kits that I've got to put away. That is all of my long fabrics up here. This has got extra scissors in it, extra pins. This is where I put floss before I put it into this system. Like if I come home and I don't have time to put it up, it goes in here. Extra page protectors for putting away my patterns down there. And this is just the box for my light that I travel with for retreats and stuff. So, and then as I work on getting ready to do a floss tip video, I pull this over and I put all the kits from over here that I've worked on this week so I know what to show you guys. So, that is my stitchy spot. So, this cart ain't usually here, but I love it. It's all set up and it's all there. I do occasionally put... Um, a cover over this just in case the dogs or the cats want to come messing but so far it's been pretty good about I just swing it way back out of the way where they can't get to it and there you have it all right so let me reposition the camera and I will show you stitching for the week okay so we're upstairs again today because I hadn't got my lighting fixed in my studio yet for video so this is better lighting 
so I've already showed you my progress on winter because it was on my stitchy stair, stitchy chair stand, my Lowry stand. Okay, so this week I started on my boys stockings. This is my youngest son's stocking, Aaron. And I worked on them. I did a complete thread in each of them. So, yep. I started these on the day that we had snow and we went sledding that day. We spent the entire day outside sledding. And I thought, oh, that's a good day to start their stockings. I told you there would be a day come that I would be ready to start them, but I just thought that was a good day. And then this is my middle son's stocking. And I will say, these suckers are full coverage. These stockings, I didn't realize that, but they are. So I got that little bit done. other stocking is, whose is this one? Let me look. This is my oldest stocking. Yes. And again, I didn't get a ton done. Holy cow, y'all, at the floss. So, I had to organize floss. Get all this floss ready and all this kit. This is a color that's hard for y'all to see, but there is stitching done on it. Um, I make copies, working copies of the pattern. So I had to get, look at all the floss, seriously. There was so much floss, I had to get it out and sorted. Figure out the center point, get it started, make working copies of the pattern. Um, sew around the edges of my fabric. Hey, this is a funny farm. No animals want to come around and make noise until I'm doing a video. Cut it out. They're happy, but still. It bothers me. Temperature tree. I've been tickled with this one. It's been a lot of fun because I don't have a ton that I feel like I have to do. But, so I usually get it out and I end up working on it more. We've had some cold days. Look, that long leaf on the first day of January. So, <clears throat> I wanted to be able to tell at a glance and it hit me that it goes Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So it goes the rainbow. So these light pinky purples are the coldest days. And then this has been the warmest day so far. All right, y'all, I gotta get the dogs out of here. Hold on. Now we're down to the bird. You hear him saying good boy? was my grandmother's bird and she gave him to me and he was meaner than a rattlesnake but we've got him eating seeds from our hands and he's talking so you gonna cry he's a good boy yeah Wah. you hear him whining like a baby good boy he's a good bird okay enough of Robert says I'm Ace Ventura. Because <laughs> I've got animals everywhere. I love animals. Okay, so this is Valentine Village. I didn't realize. I was like, why am I not farther along on this piece? It's one of my whip go pieces. And I got to looking back. And I have only worked on it four days, four one-hour sessions. 
And then I've worked on winter six one hour days and some of those days on that one I actually did a couple hours so I've still got to do one two three four five six before the end of the month to meet my whip go board on that one okay and this one is this one's getting close I'm I'm gonna make this one be my whip go my whip go for next month and put finish this one because it's getting so close. And I know it looks wrinkly, but it's just how it's being pulled on the key frame. It's really not, but I got a lot done on it too this week. This is the one I take over to my parents if we go over and watch movies or something to work on. So it's a coming. So that is my stitching for the week. So, I told you guys it was going to be a little bit less this week because this last week was my first full week of school. It started Monday and ended on Sunday. So, we're in week two now. And it went really good. I am so fed up with doing school. So, I actually had all of my assignments done on Thursday evening. And I used to be a last minute submitter. <laughs> So, for me to get all of my assignments done from Monday to Thursday, I'm tickled pink about it. And so, I started on the weekend just dabbling a little bit um, for this week's assignments, but I've already got majority of this week done, too. Like, I'm going to go downstairs and finish it up. So, I'm loving actually working early. So, this weekend, we're supposed to have more snow. So, I am hoping that I'll get a lot of stitchy time in this weekend. And I'm sorry for my hair. It just don't want to cooperate. And with it being snowy and me not going one where, I have not even bothered putting on makeup or fixing my hair. So, this is just El Natural. This is what you get. Alright, I am going to walk downstairs and do a quick tour of my studio. So, if you want to stay see that, you can stay tuned. If not... I will see you next week, and I just want to say, again, thank you for joining me. If you're new here, thanks for coming by. Um, like, comment, subscribe, stick around. I have got a Happy Mail form over on my website. I will put a link to, and I also have got a Buy Me a Coffee link um, down there, too. So, you can help me buy me some floss and help me pay for shipping and stuff for the channel. I would appreciate it very much. All right, let me pause the camera and head down to my studio at home to do a quick tour of that. Okay, so in case you didn't know, my at-home studio is in my basement. Um, I have to keep it closed off to keep the dogs out from over here, but to also keep the heat in. So, yes. All right, so when you come down the stairs, I kind of do a panoramic view of the hot mess because I have not even cleaned it up anymore it's okay um i said if i have to clean it up before i show you i'll never do it so this is real life studio tour <laughs> okay so on this all of this is my paper my paper crafting desk um let me turn on some lights so y'all can see because the lighting is horrible down here okay that's a little better Okay, so these are books that I have altered, um, books that I have started on, storage books, all that good stuff. So that's what's here. Um, my phone, this is like tags, cards, guest checks, book pages, all that stuff. These are journals that I have started collecting things for. And so all of the theme stuff is in a basket altogether. This is my 12 by 12 paper these are pieces of scraps i get a thrill out of trying to make something out of the tiniest pieces of scraps of paper it is like a fun mental challenge you know like those tetris games that's kind of what i think of but all of this is paper and all of this is paper like cardstock and stuff and then all of this is 12 by 12 paper that was not part of a paper pack like individual sheets that i bought and then markers and pens and all that good stuff. And then I've got my little carousel of my tools. This is out of place. My paint stuff don't go here, but 
I was painting. So that's that. Up here is just, sorry for the blind in you, my salt lamp. This is my little apparatus for taking pictures of homemade jewelry. These are things that I have listed for sale on my website. My bears, my mama got me. Um, this is a painting that I did in a class that I took. And then these are just pens, pencils and stuff stored. I need to put some more stuff in here, but yeah. All right, this corner is painting canvases, shipping boxes, fabric, you name it, that's what's there. Okay, this area is, except for this, this is still glue, scissors, paper stuff. This whole shelf is storage stuff. Empty containers that I can process. These are extra little baggies, Ziploc baggies that I use to organize. This is like magazine clippings that I use. This is stuff for my earrings. But this is primarily my jewelry making station. So I've got earrings I've been working on. I'm supposed to have them up here, but you see where they end up all over the place. My extra strands of stuff and this is not all of them this is just the ones that i'm actively working with right now and then going up this is extra charms swarovski crystals more jewelry making more jewelry making yeah and then these are things like glues all that stuff paint containers extra empty containers whatever this is just an ensemble of crap that i haven't put away <laughs> being flat out honest here <laughs> Okay, let me turn this light on right here so you can see better. And observe my beautiful, ugly wall. Okay. So this is, from here down, is all stuff related to my artwork. So my tissue paper, my boxes, my shipping containers, my mats, my backing boards, my certificates for the Certificate of Authenticity, shipping packages, all that is here. Um, this is my paper cutters, obviously, my paper, um, score, whatever, stuff that I'm working on. Okay, this is more paper stuff, this is more jewelry stuff that won't go anywhere else. But this whole thing is mostly fabric. I'm not going to move all this stuff out, but there's fabric all the way down in here. This is my only go art kit. It's got all my pens and paints and notepads if I just want to grab it and go have a day sitting at the park or something and do art. That's what's there. Okay, so you see all my fabric. Pretty explanatory. I try to keep all the themes together. Like this is autumn. These are my, just my random fat quarters. These are big pieces of fabric. Um, whatever. Batting, stuffing, bolts of fabric right here. Um, you get the picture. It's just, it's a hot mess. All right, so let me back up and pan around so you can see a little better. Sorry if I'm making you drunk. Okay, so this is more extra fabric for projects that I'm working on, quilts, whatever. Here's a rolling cart for um, paints and whatever. This is a quilt that I'm working on quilting. Um, paper. I keep paper that comes in packages because I'm actually making a floor with glue and paper. I know that that sounds silly, but whenever it's done, I promise I'll show it to you. Um, behind here is a laundry room that right now is piled full of junk that I need to go through. So I'm not going to show you that, but extra bags, self-explanatory. I keep my roll of quilt batting up high. It is clipped because if you don't clip it, it does unroll. <laughs> um, my clear for my vinyl bags. I keep my threads and stuff here. This is my ward wall and my couch and whatever, but Okay. So, over here is, this is all washi tape, stickers, whatnot. This side of my table is my cutting side, and this side is my pressing side. Um, all of my outlets are under here. So, there's that. This is where I store, like, cutting mats, um, zippers, all that kind of stuff. Um... Up here is my extra little art. Usually whenever I am piecing something to go over here and sew, I stand right here and do it. So that's what this is. 
This is a quilt that I am working on for me. I have worked on it for years and I haven't done anything on it. Um, I'm going to do, I have another channel where I go into more detail about my artsy stuff. Um, I'll put a link to it below. But this, since this is my sewing channel, I will probably do something about this quilt soon and show you. But I have to get that quilt finished because it is for a cousin and they have been waiting for a long time. Okay. Over here, this is just random garbage that I need to go through. My Cricut machine, Cricut stuff, paint, gelettos, inks, all that good stuff is in here. Okay, so I've done showed you this. This is where I sew. Um, this is also the tab, my table that I'll clear back if I'm working on something. But these are old. I have had this sewing machine since I was 13. This was my first sewing machine. I have made wedding dresses on this, palm, uh, prom dresses, quilts, you name it. It doesn't sew very well, so I use it now for paper sewing. But I don't want to get rid of it because it was my, my first sewing machine my mom and daddy got me. That's the sewing machine that I have now. It is okay. It is not great for heavy-duty sewing. So I will be getting a new machine soon. These are... Okay, this is my glue book stuff. Again, all of this stuff I do on another channel. But I'll put a link below. These are just extra books that I have authored. And I got extra prints. Because I need to put them on my website. So, that's what that is. Alright, let me pan around without making you drunk. I'm so proud of this. This is my newest edition. This is my award wall. I'll show you that in a minute. But, yeah. Okay. Back over here. Um, This is my drawing area. So, this is probably the biggest thing about my studio that gets used the most um and i'll show you some of my other artwork in a little bit but this is i keep my reference photo over my drawing let me see if i can move this to show you but i love having my own station for everything because i can just come down and work and leave it and work on something else if i want to but this is a fire truck that i'm working on this is my progress so far but I'm constantly worried about dirt or spills or bugs or something. So I keep it covered. Um, my lights are here. I can record. This is just random stuff, whatever. Um, when I'm sitting here drawing, I've got my extra pencils here. I keep pencils here. These are color sheet pencils. Random stuff that I use. Erasers, tapes. These are extra pencils, my graphic pencils. This is all my Polychromos extras right here. And then these are, this is just an offset brand. I don't use this on my professional artwork that people commission me to use, but I will use this like in my Bible, my art Bible or whatever. Then I've got an extra set of Luminos pencils. And that's just the storage containers. But most of the pencils that I use in a project I keep here or here or here and I've caught them kind of sorted for where I'm working at um this is mainly the red part of the truck these are kind of the colors of the this blue area because I have to use a lot of colors to get the colors right but then these are where all of my pencils are that are being used but not for this project like these aren't brand new pencils so they all stay right here and then sometimes I use paint thinner if I want to get a very smooth surface on my drawing so that's there so and then when I'm not using this it does tuck up under here but because I've got stuff sitting on the top it won't so yeah all right let me back up and pan around this is storage stuff um these are my digital drawing tablets here my photography stuff here. These are books for school. Um, this is stuff that's listed on my website for sale. So there's that. This is my, um, this is where I do all my digital office and stuff. Um, 
my TV is here because I, I have to have music when I'm working. And so every, I love how it's arranged because everything that I need to do anything office related is here. I don't have to go across the room and get nothing. Everything's here. My printer paper is here. My weight for my scales here. My tape is here. All of my digital stuff is here. I mean, everything is here. There's no need for me to go anywhere else. And that's how each of the systems are in my room. I love it that way. Okay. So, let's go to the awards wall. This in here, I'm not going to go in here because you can see into my bedroom in here. But this is a little dining room area. Let me see if I can cover it up with my hand so you can't see in my bedroom. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. See, this is a, um, cover it up. This has got a little kitchen in it. There's a refrigerator in here. Um, so, yeah. I can come down here and get some peace and quiet. And a lot of times whenever I'm working, um, the kids will be in here watching TV or something. And so we can talk when I'm working. Okay. So, my awards wall. I'm going to kind of show you these in detail. So, if you don't want to see it, you can move on. But I'm kind of proud of all this. So, this is my oldest award. This is a graphite pencil piece I got second place with. This is actually my very first ever colored pencil drawing. Um, and it got first. This is a magazine collage. So there are tiny, tiny little bits. I'm going to get up there so you can see. Of magazine pages cut out to create this image. This one actually took home um, a first place. You can see it right there. It's got a first place ribbon. I don't know where I put it, so there you have it. This is a photograph um, of a snowflake that I took. So it got first place. This is a colored pencil portrait of Jesus. This is another one you can see over here. It got first place. I don't know what I've done with the ribbon. This is colored pencil. Um, this is a graphite pencil piece that I did. This is a picture. Sorry for the glare, folks, but it is what it is. This is a graphite and colored pencil piece. I'll just talk about that one over there in a minute. This is another collage piece. It's got tiny, tiny little strips of magazine. Trying to get the glare off so you can see. Um, where's some of the most... Okay, like his ears up here. Try not to make you sick. His ears are dirt. Do you see the dirt? And then... Let me go a little closer here. I'm trying to find some weird images so you can see that it is magazine. Oh, like right down here. See that hair? There's a piece of wood. So this is a piece of hair. Wait, where'd my finger go? This is hair. This is a piece of flooring. So, yeah. Pretty proud of that guy. Okay, and then way up here, this one has not won an award, but this one was selected in a national juried competition, and it went to be in that exhibit. So I was pretty stoked about it. There was um, less than 50 artists allowed to participate. So that was my very first national juried art show that I got to go to. So, yeah. And so I can just observe it because, believe it or not, we all have self-doubt. We all question our abilities. And I think artists have a little bit more emotional <laughs> issues sometimes anyway because we're feely people. And it's nice just to be able to turn around and remind myself of what I can do if I just keep my guts up my glory up and do what i'm supposed to do so that is my home studio tour so i hope that you enjoyed it again my artsy stuff that's not sewing related i do on another channel it's kk art and design i will put a link to that channel below um i've not done too much with that channel i'm wanting to this year um Kind of be a more balanced artist instead of really like spending months on just drawing trying to kind of rotate my weeks out so there will be more stuff coming to to that channel too so um yeah more like my character design 
there's a lot of my speed drawing videos for colored pencil over on that channel so you can go check it out if you want but this is a channel about cross stitch but I just thought that I would show you this because this is kind of my life so if you have stuck around this long to watch thank you so much and I don't know maybe you got an idea or two for your own crafty room so I will see you next week get to stitching bye